Sir Hugh Calverley was an English knight and commander, who took part in the Hundred Years' War, gaining fame during the War of the Breton Succession and the Castilian Civil War. He held various military posts in Brittany and Normandy. He should not be confused with his nephew, also Sir Hugh Calverley, who died in June 1393 and was Member of Parliament for Rutland. Background Calverley was born the youngest son of David de Calverley of Lee, and his wife, Joanna. The family held the manor of Calverley in Bunbury, Cheshire. Estimates of the year of his birth range from 1315 to 1333. It is possible that he was a close relative, maybe even a half-brother, of Sir Robert Knowles. Breton Civil War. Along with many other Englishmen, the young Hugh Calverley served in Brittany supporting John de Montfort's English-backed bid to become Duke of Brittany against the French-backed claimant, Charles de Blois, during the Breton War of Succession. An anonymous Breton poet's account of the Battle of the Thirty in 1351 has Hugh de Cavilla as a knight fighting on the English side. One estimate of the date of his knighthood is 1346, though documents from 1354 do not refer to him as a knight and there is some evidence that he was only knighted later, in 1361. In 1354, Calverley was captain of the English-held fortress of Beecherel. He planned a raid on the castle of Montmoran on 10 April to capture Arnoul de Rodrium, Marshal of France, who was a guest of the Lady of Tintaniac. Bertrand du Guesclin, in one of the early highlights of his career, anticipated the attack, posting archers as sentries. When the sentries raised the alarm at Calvary's approach, both Du Guesclin and Dorodrium hurried to intercept. In the ensuing fight, Calverley was unhorsed by a knight named then Geron de Din, captured, and later ransomed. In 1359 Sir Robert Knowles and Calverley invaded the Rhone Valley. The city of Le Puy fell to them in July. The campaign ended when their way to Avignon was barred by the army of Thomas de la Marche, deputy for Louis II, Duke of Bourbon, at which point both English commanders retreated. At the Battle of Auré on 29 September 1364, Calverley had the command of the reserve division of the forces of John de Montfort, under the command of Sir John Chandos. Charles de Blois was killed at Auré, enabling John de Montfort to claim the duchy without further conflict. The Iberian Campaigns After the conclusion of the Breton Civil War, Calverley, along with many other soldiers, found himself unemployed. These soldiers, banding together in the free companies, continued to support themselves by raiding widely, causing a huge problem for the Kingdom of France. The solution to the problem was found when Aragon, France and the Papacy agreed to provide money to pay for the free companies to wage a campaign to support Count Enrique of Tristar Mara's bid for the throne of Castile, which at the time was held by Enrique's half-brother, Pedro of Castile. Calverley signed up as the most prominent of the English captains on this campaign, in which he was involved from 1365 to 1367. Ironically serving alongside Bertrand du Guesclin, his once and future enemy, for his services to Enrique, he was made Count of Carrion. He married one of the Aragonese Queen's ladies-in-waiting, named Constanza, daughter of a Sicilian baron. Pedro the Cruel, having fled from Castile, invoked his alliance with England. Calverley was called back to the service of England by the Black Prince, and now took prominent part in Pedro's counter-campaign, culminating in the decisive Battle of Najera. At Najera, Calverley was once again in the rearguard, sharing command with Count John I of Almagnac. The two commanders had the glory of delivering the final blow to the faltering enemy infantry by a cavalry charge. Enrique of Trastamara escaped from the battle. Though his title as Count of Carrion had been granted by Enrique, Pedro confirmed it upon reclaiming the Castilian throne. In the spring of 1367, the Black Prince sent Calverley as an emissary to Aragon, to arrange the diplomatic isolation of the fugitive Enriquette. Calverley successfully convinced Pedro the Ceremonious to renounce his support for Enriquette, resumed war with France. 
When hostilities resumed between England and France in 1369, Calvary was once again involved, first in raiding the possessions of Gascon nobles who had defected to the French. He took part in at least three further campaigns in the period to 1374, notably. He was one of the joint commanders of the English army disastrously defeated by Bertrand du Guesclin at the Battle of pont the 4th of December 1370, though he managed to escape. From 1375 to 1378, Calvary was governor of Calais, an important port. Thereafter, he became one of the two admirals of the English fleet, taking part in several sea battles. In July 1379, he was involved in a raid on Brittany led by Sir John Arundel, Marshal of England. On their return voyage, 20 ships and about 1,000 men were lost at sea in a storm. Calvary was one of only eight survivors. In 1383, he took part in the Norwich Crusade, preached by the Roman Pope against his rival at Avignon. But this campaign turned into an embarrassing failure when France bribed a large number of the participants. Late career. Calvary's final military engagement was in 1386, when he joined John of Gaunt in an unsuccessful campaign to secure the Castilian throne. In July 1388, he joined the English peace commissioners negotiating a truce with France. In his later life, he also served as a justice of the peace, and a knight of the shire for Rutland. Death and Burial Calvary died without issue on St. George's Day, 23 April 1394. His tomb effigy is in St. Boniface's Church in Bunbury, Cheshire, though there is some doubt as to whether he was in fact buried there. The effigy was likely commissioned by Sir Robert Knowles. Titles and Honours Knight, dubbed sometime between California 1346 and 1361. Commander of Beecherel, 1354. Count of Carrion, from 1366. Seneschal of Calais, 1375 to 1378. Keeper of the Channel Islands, from 1378 for life. Captain of Brest. Admiral of the West. Justice of the Peace for Berks County. His coat of arms is blazoned as Argent of Escules between three bulls sable, his crest was a bull's head sable, crowned Argent.